one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Now, hopefully you'll know that back in December, I took my Porsche 718 Cayman S over to Yanomai's to have it wrapped in Avery gloss dark green. I'm super happy with the way the car turned out, and the guys at Yanomai's did a fantastic job, but a few weeks later, I did a video with Car Thought where we stuck some Christmas lights in the car and drove it around central London. For that shoot, I needed the car to be clean, and I turned up with it dirty, so I was forced to go to a local car wash, where apparently they used nails instead of sponges, because the vinyl got very badly scratched. So today I've come down to see the magician Stuart F1 Wax to see if he can work some of his miracle polishing and bring this Yanomai's vinyl wrap back to life. Now, as you can imagine, the unit downstairs is incredibly loud and Stu is already very busy, so I've popped upstairs to talk you through the sort of initial steps of today's hopefully miraculous restoration process. Now, the big thing is today that Stu is gonna be working with vinyl, not paint, and I will let him explain a little bit later what the challenges are when doing that. But to kick things off, he needs to do a various number of tests, what methods he's gonna use, which polishes he's gonna use, the various, I don't know, he needs to explain it basically, but that's what he's doing. He's given the car full wash down, brought it inside the unit, and slowly but surely he's testing different sections and different areas to see what method is gonna be best. Now, in addition to all the scratches that I noticed after the crappy car wash, when the car was washed, we also saw there were a whole lot of stains like all over the car, which Stu worked out was probably diesel from like an old crappy car or crappy truck basically being sick on me when I was following it during the motorway. So literally, bleh, and diesel went everywhere, so that was great but it didn't seem to freak him out too much. He thought those would be easier to remove than the actual scratches because the hardest thing is, we don't know how deep the scratches are from the car wash and unlike paint, he can't chipper down the vinyl that much. It's quite a thin material. He's only got so much material whilst with paint, you have a bit more flexibility. Anyway, I'm gonna let him crack on for a couple of hours, work out what, exactly what he's gonna be doing and then we will touch base and get his expertise to explain exactly how he's gonna hopefully be fixing the issues to this wrap. I'm gonna have to rename Stu from the paint whisperer to the vinyl whisperer. <laughs> I've literally just come back into the unit and I cannot believe the progress that's already been made in literally a couple of hours. Um, I just popped next door and doing some work and I've come back through and I need to show you this with a better cutaway shot, the actual difference between the work that's been done and the crap that there was on the vinyl before. But let me first come over and talk to the man, the myth, the legend. Explain to me what's been going on because the last time I saw you, you were doing some test patches. Yeah, so we managed to start skimming the laminate down um, to a point where we were getting correction but there were still some really annoying little scratches in there that I didn't like the look of and I cannot stop until they're gone. So, <laughs> so there's That's always, why I love your OCD. There's, there's always a solution, there's always a solution to get rid of them. So um, we've skimmed them down now to where I deem is safe because uh, you can see under the microscope there's little tiny tiny little micro fractures in the actual uh, laminate itself so I don't want to take the mic and cause a tear or anything like that. And especially now we're going to layer it with ceramic coat so that will basically give it all the protection and bond all those little micro tears together as well so but yeah she's coming on it's looking Beautiful. amazing it's it's looking great i have to say like you can just about see here if i try and get my camera working this side obviously the side that Stu hasn't worked on yet and this side he has this is starting to look super liquid smooth you can see all the blemishes and issues here we've got special oh, okay yeah that is helping a bit um so yeah that's the dodgy side and then we come over to the much clearer side. But you say you've still, you still got a bit of work that you want to do on this side, but it's exactly. looking immaculate to me already, it's so like, I don't know what you're like going to be doing. But It's like four or five it's deep. Like, if this was paint, this would be up there at about an eight out of ten with regards to the damage. <laughs> good. Like, good work I did then. <laughs> it's done to it, so... I, is it, this is a challenge for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, please I'll... ruin my wrap so Stu can fix it. <laughs> I will get them right. Amazing. Too cool. I'll let you crack on. It looks amazing. Thank, Thank you very you. much. 
So while Stu continues slaving away, I'm gonna go to lunch. <laughs> it sounds like a real dickhead kind of thing to do, but I have offered to grab him something. He apparently has a stash of food there and he wants to keep working on the car. He is an absolute legend. For me, it's time to go and find me some Nando's. I feel like Nando's is the go-to vlog food. Anyway, I'm all stuffed up now. I can go back to the unit feeling ready and raring to go. All my shoelaces are undone. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, why am I not just getting the car re-wrapped? First, because I think Yanni would charge me through the roof to do so. But also, because I don't think the car really warrants a full re-wrap. I'm pretty sure Stu is gonna be able to work his magic and get most of these sort of blemishes and defects out. Um, oh my God, it's windy and it's freezing and I got a five minute walk back to the unit. I'll see you back at the unit. Wow, wow, wee wah. <laughs> Dude, every time I come in here, it looks better. I think it's almost looking better than the day I collected it. I hope so, mate. It's I looking so. wonderful, wow. It's almost looking liquid. You did this before on the Jag, I remember. You turned a vinyl wrap into liquid paint. And just like here, where you're polishing at the That's moment, it. That's the way it starts to look and this super is what, smooth. What you find when you uh, work the car, you know, for hour after hour, you kind of learn what the wrap does and doesn't like. So then you can go back onto the other panels and then reintroduce that there and you can get a better and better and better finish. So. It's looking amazing. I cannot wait to see the finished product. <laughs> As you can see, Stu's still working away or clearing up the mess I created. <laughs> <laughs> so even though we're dealing with vinyl here and not paint, Stu is still going to his usual levels of craziness and he's currently cutting off the edges of his cloths in case the soft edges scratch the vinyl. Um, and th I mean, <laughs> they're just cloth. <laughs> I love it. You're a madman, though. You're an absolute madman. Thank you, mate. Yeah, Level to uh, attention to detail is pretty crazy. Thanks. I say it can only be one result, and that's the right one. So where are we at now? Basically, the main polishing is done. Yep, the car's all ready and prepped, and now we're going to start ceramic coating it. So amazing. Uh, this is the final stage, really, of just kind of bonding everything together. Yes. Yeah, and protecting this ceramic coat we're using, which is the Arctic coat. Uh, and this is the uh, new stuff that's been developed in uh, Norway. Oh my god, okay fine, this is going on the car. Awesome. I mean, it, that looks like a tiny bottle, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I trust you. How oh, many yeah. of those, realistically, how many of those are you actually going to put uh, on the car, do you think? Uh, bottles? Yeah. Uh, we'll get at least three cars out of one bottle. This is it, so I left this in the lid overnight, and that is the thickness and layer of protection you'll be getting on your paintwork. That's madness. So that's why it's so good at repelling, you know, scratches <laughs> and stone chips. That is it. Simply, uh, how long have we been, Stu? Six, six hours, eight hours. Eight and a half. Eight and a half hours later, this car is essentially looking re-wrapped once again. The miracle work has taken place. The now vinyl whisperer, I'm renaming Stu instead of, well, he's a paint whisperer as well, but today has been a vinyl whisperer has done his absolute magic best. Now, the thing is, this is vinyl, so, it was probably gonna be a tough job for Stu to get all of the scratches out in one day. He is begging me to leave the car here so he can continue to work on it and get them out completely. But for me, I'm happy. This car looks incredible. It's liquid. The amount of people that have been coming up to us today go, it's just a paint job, it's a paint job. No, it's vinyl, but just with this man's magic touch. The ceramic coating, I think, has been the perfect finishing point and should keep this locked down so that if I'm an idiot and go to crappy car washes again in the future, should stand or withstand. You Yeah. <laughs> I think he'll be furious <laughs> if I do. Um, we've actually going to be doing a video, Stu and I, coming up, which is all about the sort of washing car process, but that's a separate thing entirely. For now, let me say huge thanks once again, as always, Thank to the you. man, the myth, the legend. If you want to follow Stu on Instagram, he is there. You can see all the other cars he works on. He does some amazing stuff. But today, I'm just super happy that he put his hands on this car here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.